Everybody had a hard year Nobody got that pain What a time for the lonely ones Thought every dog had its day What a time for the wicked The hungry and the Hey, I'm back. Still Sunday, July 21st. I just uh, threw some cardboard in between the front of the ATV and the back window of the pickup truck because it looks closer than I normally have it and so I don't want to break the window obviously I wasn't paying attention when I drove it up true like I was loading and true wasn't here but then he did come here I heard his truck so I stopped everything because it's like oh okay so now like you know and then he said well do it this way I was gonna take it to this guy Tyler but True would, you know, he'd probably rather work on it anyway, so, like, because he rides the bike too, so, you know, we trust his work as opposed to a stranger, so. Anyways, we seem to be a okay. I'm just gonna, if I start to see something wrong, I'm gonna, I got the straps on pretty tight. Oh, the wire's back up. That's unusual. I guess Dougie must be home. They have to do that because people actually will drive up here, even though it says private road. Yeah, the straps had <laughs> loosened up a bit. Not the one pulling it away from the window, so that's good. It stayed tight, but it's the one pulling it back. You got to pull them against each other, and then they, the ETV won't move. But I should have not put it that close. We'll go to, so with what he told me, and he, oh, he, he had some hose for the ATV too, so that's a great thing. Uh, not for the ATV, for the, uh, uh, I can't think of it now. Um, the uh, P, P hose, you know, the, the water that comes out of your boat motor, you know, and it's got the, the water comes out to let you know that you're, you know, you're obviously cooling properly. Anyways, the hose that goes from the water pump to the thing that goes outside, telltale is what they call it. Anyways, um, the hose he gave me will fit perfectly. And then, uh, so I don't need to go to, well, I still need to go to Lanark Small Engine for uh, a tire that I left there for the wheelbarrow. And now the wheelbarrow, I can put it to the back, move the plants, uh, I'm not sure how much time I'm going to have, but then True thinks that the boat is probably going to be fine without having to touch it. I told him, like he asked me what happened when I started, put the water, all that stuff. And he said, well, it sounds pretty good. I said, yeah, I changed the fuel filter last year. That was the problem uh, when it was choking for fuel. Um, so, you know, uh, he feels very positive about that and with him if he feels positive about something then I feel positive about something because he knows and uh, so but anyway I told him I said well here's the thing he needs a compression tester like he's got one but what the fuck is that a bear oh no okay so 
way my eyes are playing tricks on me. It's just the way the branch, the, the leaves were hanging down. It looked like a black thing on the road. And I'm going, a bear this time of day? I mean, I'm not saying it's impossible, but like, I didn't think I'd see a bear. <laughs> I love to see bear. I have my own bears, but I rarely see them anymore. They don't even come up on my mother's deck like they used to. They used to go up and sun themselves on my mother's deck, but she hasn't given me a bear report yet this year. Sometimes she sees them when she goes out to mailbox. She, my mother, hey, she's so old school. She, uh, she takes a pie pan, like, you know, a steel pie pan, and she brings a wooden spoon and she bangs the pan. As soon as she reaches the area, she knows it's less safe than the other part. <laughs> All the way out to the mailbox. She'll get her mail, she'll stand around there, look around, you know, and then she'll head back and she'll bang the pan. Because that'll scare the bears, right? So, so far after 60 some years, no bears gotten her yet. So, my dad didn't get one. No bear got me yet. So, So yeah, the plan then is tomorrow, go to Lanark, pick up the tire for the for the wheelbarrow, move the plants around, bring the bike back to True. There's a couple other things he said that, you know, you could afford to uh, order them, go ahead. He also suggested I switch to a synthetic oil for the Mariner. Um, there's an oil that he really thinks highly of, and I'm gonna try it. It's not really that much more expensive than my regular oil, but it already comes with detergents in it, which is good now because premium fuel here in this country now has 10% ethanol in it, which is really a pisser, because I don't use anything with ethanol in it for my small engines. But saying all that, I mean, I told him I use a, like a couple capfuls of, of sea foam you know, not every tank, but definitely every few tanks. And uh, he's, oh, well, that's perfect. He's that, you know, that's the right, you're doing the right thing, obviously. I said, well, Norm. But now, Seafoam makes a marine version of that. I, I've never seen it before. I just saw it on the internet on the Canadian Tire site, but it's hard there at his place because the reception is touch and go. When I get back to the camp, I'm going to have a look at that stuff. I might just order a bottle of that. And then the other sea foam that's in the boat, um, I'm going to move that into the milk crate for the ATV. So, yeah, surprise, surprise. I didn't realize there was a marine ver I know there wasn't a marine version before. There's for sure there isn't one, or at least there wasn't one. So this is new. Now maybe it's since, you know, I don't know about in the States, but here with the ethanol now being in the premium fuel, I shake my head because that still pisses me off. But anyways, um, it's not the end of the world. It's still premium, but it's now like every winter I have to drain the carburetor, so I have to run the motor until the carburetor runs dry you know, all that stuff. With the premium before, you didn't have to do that, especially if you put a cap of sea foam or two before you shut the motor down for the season. But now, like True says, you know, run the motor, like when you pull up off the, you know, the launch for your last time of the year, start the motor up until she conks out, carburetor's empty, and that should keep the white gunk from, you know, doing what it's doing. Uh, so, well, it won't form. Anyway, so yeah, the trip to Lanark, pick up the tire for the wheelbarrow. Uh, why is the other reason I had to go there now for the boat? Oh, I don't anymore. I just need to get that thing and then, well, I've got the hose, so I'll put that on. And then I can take the boat back out, but probably won't be enough time tomorrow because I got to go to the doctors for three o'clock. So I'm going to be timing this. Oh, I know what it was. I have to go to Timber Mart and pick up paint for the boat floor. I got to paint that floor. And John found something for me at the boat uh, at there that'll be perfect for the boat floor. 
and it's not dark brown which would be kind of hot actually with the sun beating down on it but there is like a gunmetal gray for boats so that's fine I'll use that on the floor and that way there too if I'm ever barefoot in there which I never am but you know it won't burn your feet it's dark brown paint sun soak that up turn it into 150 degrees there we go I went out this way this time because it's shorter and not as hard on the like you know all the turns and bumps and everything I'm worried the ATV doesn't look like it's moved at all so Mr. Umperson Jesus, be a good night to go put a line in, eh? What time is it? 7.30, it's too late to bring the boat out. The water's like a mirror. Oh, this would be a good time to do some walleye fishing. Fuck. Well, let's not say fuck. We can go out now, there's no excuse. The boat went in the water, it didn't leak. There's no water, extra water in it when I pulled it out so that's good now I mean it hasn't sat and run down the lake we'll see but I think that flex seal looks horrible <laughs> little white dots it used to be clear but I couldn't get the clear one anymore anyways um, Jeff sealed that up really good so that issue is done the main thing is that motor doesn't conk out of me if I'm I'm not planning on going way out in the Georgian Bay like I did two years ago, but sometimes I forget myself or the fishing's bad, you know, tor closer to the Coldplay Bay, my little spot there. Um, so then I get like, okay, let's go out a couple kilometers more, another couple kilometers, and then I see boats, you know, way out there and they're fishing and I'm like, fuck, that's another 10 clicks or whatever. I don't know if it's that far, but... So, I, you know, like last time I ended up 22 clicks past the end of the peninsula. It's the furthest I've ever been out in the, that boat and could not see shore. I knew where to go I, and my GPS boat thing worked there, so no problem. Um, so, but, you know, in case a storm starts to brew or anything like that, I want to be able to hammer the throttle and head back to the bay as fast as I can. So, I mean, uh, like I say, I just don't want to be stuck. But, like I told him, I mean, once I got pumped the gas into the motor after sitting, it didn't run it last year at all, except for the startup routine. And that's it, and I never did take it out. But the boat starts right up, no problem. Motor sounds great. Like I said, when Norm redid that motor, did all his little fancy tuning he did on it, it's not a normal motor no more. I just hope True can figure out what he did. I'm, True's the only guy that's going to be able to figure out what Norm did to it. And why. And True will recognize that. That's the one thing about him. He's got that way, like Norm, about him. So he knows. You know, like when I told him, I said, yeah, it trolls at one kilometer, not one mile an hour, no problem. Without a trolling motor and everything, just took to take down the lake. Or... I can pull the lines in and hit the hammer of the throttle. She doesn't bog. She doesn't well, be a little pop of two-stroke smoke, but it doesn't load up like it should. It should load up and stall because you're running it that slow, the motor that slow. It's a two-stroke, 50 to 1 mix. Nope. Hammer that throttle and she's doing 50 kilometers an hour like almost instantly. It's four-cylinder, 40 horsepower, four carburetor, Mariner motor on a 16 foot aluminum with a console and granted it's not the lightest boat in the world but that motor is uh, more than enough motor to get me out of trouble if it's running reliable so but talking to True reassured me now about the motor because I told him what I did I went to Robertson Lake I did that little routine yep got the uh, the, the telltale spinning out water properly so that's all good I don't know what else to say. Compression test is my big thing because if, like, it's not going to change anything for fishing, it'll be fine. 
in Georgia Bay, but this winter, I'll put the boat up at his place and let him tinker with it if it needs honing and some new rings. But I told him, I said, like, you know, that boat means a lot to me. When I die, I don't want it going to just some idiot. True would appreciate that boat, like Norm. And because that boat means so much to me and still, you know, I in my, like, Norm's dead, but, you know, that's that boat is me and him and I just I, I, I will never sell it but even if I went and bought a brand new boat which I might do yet who knows when I sell everything here but that boat's not going nowhere and but it ain't going in the grave with me so somebody like true I mean he'll tinker with it he'll probably build things whatever he'll do he'll do it but he'll love that boat like me and Norm did like he's he's the same as us and like I told him, I told him today, he didn't know that. I said, if you and Norm met, I'd be the one on the outside because the two of you would be just constantly, like you guys would hit it off like, like no tomorrow. Parked here like that with black windows and everything. I don't know where they would be. Is there a cottage there? I didn't see a little road. Alrighty, well, so far so good. The big village of Poland. Not Poland the country, Poland the village. Barely a village. More like a hamlet. Well, there's a nice boat. I never saw that boat before at his place. Jeez, if he ever puts that for sale. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. I'm keeping that boat. I am going to put more money in the boat over the winter. Get that carpentry done the uh, stuff put back inside but yeah I, I, fuck man I am feeling good about the boat after talking to him is that a Harley? no strange looking bike he says it's going to take him a few days with the ATV the big part the hard part is the front CV stuff he says that's going to take longest the back which he checked all the parts I brought and he says they're all the right parts and uh, um, so it'll take him a few days plus he's still like I my biggest thing with true is I worry about him like he would never put my jobs ahead of his Highland Solutions company but like I told him, I said, it's extremely important for me to know that I'm not interfering with the, you know, the progress of the company and everything. Because, you know, winter's coming. Like we say in Game of Thrones or, oh, Winterfell Camp. And I mean, he is in a situation where he really has to make sure he's ready. Now, I'm not saying he won't. He's great at all that shit, you know. But... I don't want to be the one interfering and if work slows down at Highland Solutions, which I will try and make sure it doesn't, but like I told him, I said, I can't guarantee because I don't know your business. Like this is the first time I've done this kind of advertising. So like for that type of business, other than my one friend Stefan and his business took off overnight and he ended up, by the time I threw him off my property and I pissed at him. Um, still am and never will speak to him again but um, I mean he had hired his both his sons and he was hiring other people he was growing so fast and I haven't done ads for him now in well over a year I'm sure his wife's doing it now which is okay that's good for him but like I said the true I said this will be crazy overnight man and you're gonna be tired and all this stuff you know now he's very tough like like my dad like very tough and uh, so, I mean, he will never fail because of himself, but the work has to be there. And my work is not as important as the work he has for Highland Solutions. So, now I don't need to lecture him about that. He already knows all that shit. But he, I don't want him to feel obligated because it would really bother me if something happened to Highland Solutions. Because the name of the company, what he's doing it, the type of thing he wanted to do and is doing is like one of the smartest things I've ever seen, frankly, for that type of business out here. 
and showing, I mean, instantly busy. So, but it's keeping them busy, not just this year, but this winter, next year, the year after. Now, I think he knows I tend to think a year ahead. It's like I'm doing with the Starlink. I'm not thinking about today's sales and tomorrow's sales. I want to know what we're going to be doing a year from now. That's me. And I guess that's why apparently I'm good at this job that I didn't know I'd be good at. So, I mean, Mark's already given me one substantial raise. I have two more coming that he's told me about. And I'm like, why, like, you know, like I know we made a deal, but he says, well, the sales are just absolutely insane. He says, I can't believe how much you're doing. And I'm like, well, I work seven days a week because for me, it's really not work. I'm editing and uploading to YouTube for you folks. I'm doing that work. I'm doing graphic work for True when it's needed. Um, um, so for me, it's more like fun. So. All right, let's end this. It's 20 minutes. So listen, everyone. Thanks for coming. Thanks for listening. Uh, as you can see, it's a beautiful, beautiful evening. 21 Celsius is the actual temperature. I knew Mike Poe has been saying 25 Celsius, and I'm like, no, 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 no. It ain't that warm, man. Uh, we're going to walk in. The AC won't even be on because it's it's gone below where the AC kicks in. So I'm glad I can put the fan on now. It's going to be a cold night. Cool, Well, not cold, but very cool anyway. I think somebody hit a deer right here in front of my mom's laneway. Wouldn't surprise me there. Or, well, the bears cross right there, actually. I hope they didn't hit a fucking bear. Not that a bear is more important than deer. Anyways, please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, what else? If you want to support my work or help me out with different things, uh, there's uh, link links in the description, but paypal.com slash lad from the woods. Uh, uh, what's the coffee one? Buy me a coffee. Um, lad, you know, dot com slash lad from the woods. Sorry, I'm backing up here. Um, And then there's uh, Amazon, there's a wish list link to, uh, you know, for needs for the camp and stuff. So, but anywho, so there we go. That's your update from going up to Trues, the ATV. A little bit of work we're going to get done. I truly, I was really, I'm glad he's doing it. I don't want anybody else touching my shit, but I also don't want to be on him. So anyway, uh, be good to your fellow human, okay? Please like, share, subscribe. I said that already. Uh, peace. Long and life. No and live to be ten. The car is on its way. Somebody call the cat in. We don't need another stray. If everybody had an answer, nobody would have to wait. What a time for the wretches. Came. Ain't nobody out there like us There ain't no two stones the same